and welcome back. So, I was looking at this map, thinking, and I think we are very damn close to having a field team in every sector. So what we should do is have this guy who usually loves credits currently just just go for a, like once, once gotta go for intel, right? No, 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 you 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 change your mind, just do do that. Okay, so you're just gonna get intel once, and that might give us enough to buy two sectors, which will allow us enough to go with major crimes task force because although i do believe that we are doing okay one concern i have is that we actually have we are actually halfway to losing the game at least when it comes to city anarchy and now i have the main mission that i can do but i actually can do it because we have to do these these yellow ones here uh we can do the lost and found which gives us a breach bomb or we can do uh, tech support, which gives us Illyrium, uh, which I value, but uh, I don't know, maybe the breach bomb is going to be good. So let's go for the Highland Square one. It doesn't matter too much which one we go for, but currently I'm, and, and in the near future, I don't plan on needing tech, so let's get the breach bomb. Yeah, we are attack and just getting stuff. Okay, let, let's go. Send APC. Yep. We are good to go, I believe. Yeah, we, we don't have anything else. I, I can make them available, but I don't have anything. Let's launch. Sweep for hostiles. Breach when ready. Okay. Encounter one of one. First unit through the entrance will have their weapon disabled. So it's Zephyr. Uh, Birch. Godmother and Terminal. Let's go. Time to move. Okay, aggressive, not for me. I guess I can punch the hitman. Anything that has armor on. Of course, that's not 100% correct either. Got ya. Okay, let's try to take out the Paladin. Yeah, just take out the Paladin. No! I don't want to get shot, okay? We gotta use everything right away because this is a. Uh, um, yeah, she only moved up by one. Crowd control. It's a four to f five damage, apparently. Oh, yeah, we actually deal less damage with the crowd control. I can just kill the snake over here. Should I just have her move up? Let's do that. So I can go here. Throw the frag grenade. 
Killing the hitman and damaging Tossing the python. Frag. Then we kill a, a snake here. He's just sleeping and parry. Then I guess we can shoot at the Praetorian. Should we give Zephyr an action? Dominator. Why, why wouldn't we shoot at the bruiser? Oh, he's, he's technically standing behind hard cover, right? Okay. Okay, let's just give Zephyr an action. Dominator and Bruiser, and the Python comes last. Okay, I'll just punch the Praetorian. And just parry. So he will not be a problem. Do I just take shots? I guess we can kill the python. No. I'm moving. What? I do. Oh no, you're going to get hit. Our best chance to hit is 73. Not not bad. We can disable the Praetorian. That indeed works. Target the Dominator. Look out! Okay. We can kill them, right? No, not like that. Oh, we can at least kill Moving. one of them. Or highly likely. Nope. Stunned so we don't get hit. No! Annoying snake. Okay, we can kill the Praetorian here. It would come last, but no one else is really Smashing dealing with extremity. it. Hmm. I just take it out. Racing target. <laughs> Bad choice. Okay. Wait, I can shoot at the snake. Oh, just go closer and shoot at the snake. On the way. Rest in peace, snake. I guess I could have went for a capture. What? Arrested the target. <laughs> Why from there? 
Well, we did it. Good job there. <gasps> well, we got exactly what we were promised. Two hey, promotions buddy. already. My mind lately? You know Promote. I would never do that. How would you know? I know, unless you read my mind. Because I am your squad mate, and you trust me with your life. Right. Which you could have programmed me to think. <laughs> <laughs> no one can program a mind with such complexity as yours. Ah, uh, Verge. Sometimes I think you're the only one who truly gets me. I know. Uh, Verge heals 1 HP for each enemy in the neural network at the end of the turn. Situational a little bit. I mean, it's not useless, but situational. Levitation slams the targeted enemy into the ground, dealing 1 free, one to 3 mental damage and adding a unit to the neural network. Damage from slam will render enemies unconscious instead of killing them. That's still so steps questionable because we have slam we can only use it while breaching we lift up a target and I just stop using it I suppose this helps with the color it's actually completely unrelated to that it would make more sense with crowdsource. Mm. But do we rely on neural network to heal him? I mean, it wouldn't be terrible. Because his dodge is terrible, of course. His health is... Not great, but if we gave him 50 dodge, plus also accepted his 20 dodge upgrade, then suddenly he would be a little hard to hit. And then healing wouldn't be the worst idea. I don't think this matters too much, adding dealing 1 to 3 mental damage. This is just so minor. And network healing, sure, let's go with that. Let's see what we have here. If Godmother downs an enemy during their turn, the next attack against them will miss. During their turn? I mean, how would that work? Shouldn't this say, if Godmother downs an enemy, the next, next, next attack against her will miss. But it instead says the god if Godmother downs an enemy during their turn, so I have to kill the enemies during their turn, so I would have to be overwatching, I suppose. the next attack against them will miss. Am I just the only one who's not really getting this? This is odd. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Oh, English. Godmother takes a reaction shot at enemies that get too close, requires ammo. Too close. Define too close. But this seems okay, because every time people are just moving around, you're just shooting them? I mean, what, what would most likely happen here is that you need to overwatch, and every time you kill an enemy during their turn, then next attack against her will miss, right? Right? I mean, because... it kind of says that if you kill an enemy during their turn, then the next attack against the enemies will miss. Okay, close combat specialist. That's one we're going for.
Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, that that's a problem. This is where I would like to go. But we can't go. Emergency outbreak. Can we... It's not an emergency outbreak anymore. Actually, it's still an emergency fucking outbreak. Because it's going up by two, right? Oh, man. This is where I would like to go, but this is where we have to go. Not much choice. Are we getting there with the armor a little bit? Getting closer to it? I don't think we need it, because currently I would be more concerned about uh, just dealing enough damage. But I guess if I don't have to worry about dying at all, ever, that sounds nice. So, let's deal with this emergency outbreak. It does sound like an emergency. Okay, let's go. I'm just considering my options. No one came! Civilians in imminent danger. Keep them safe. I'll I'll try to do that, okay? It seems like a encounter one of one, yeah. Last unit through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. Okay. So let's play it like that. She only moves up by one, so it's not crazy good. Urgent terminal. Let's play like Time that. to move. Wait, what? I can only feel us advance on one guy. I, I guess I'll do that. We can only hit, hit the same guy. So, I may want to move up Verge instead. Does it not? Guaranteed to work, but Smashing it's pretty extremity. good. I can lose three civilians. Seems like it. We just need to hurry the hell up. Okay, shoot the Zerker. He's a little mad. Uh, but let's just go closer. Go on, get out of here. I can't hit the guy that I want. I might actually end up overwatching here. This might not work. Because there is one other civilian there. So we got we are destined to lose at least two. 
I suppose there's a civilian, uh, the top left. I can send him away before anyone thinks of shooting him. Like this guy. You're safe. Get moving. Wow. So many misses. We have one guy over here. Oh yeah. It seems like the only strategy we can have is just, just to draw their attention and fight like hell. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna shoot him in the face. No! Ends my turn! I'm dumb. I should've used my ability first. I've played other games like this, where shooting is just an action, and you can just shoot them move, but in XCOM, shooting always ends your turn. I don't need the armor. Demolishing. It's Barry. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do here. Okay, let's put the legionnaire my, to sleep my, and over yours. kill the berserker. Okay, these berserkers are not dying, which is a problem. Can we kill him for sure? We may want to use a special attack for this. Seems like Terminal is gonna get hit. Everything. Okay, so we cannot use abilities. Disoriented? Oh shit, we learn about disoriented. No, we don't. Suffering movement and aim penalties, many abilities are restricted. Okay. That's good. Uh, we can reload, then shoot this guy in the face. Wait, what? That's a pretty big penalty. Okay, let's kill the berserker in the back. Tossing frag. Just the plate safe. Uh. Legionnaire, bruiser. I just punched the bruiser. Fracturing. Go for an armor. 
Uh, we can go for some captures, I suppose. Kill the bruiser. Betrayed! is under arrest. Hmm. Okay. What to do with this? Can I just flush him out? Forcing a retreat. Hostile on the run. Right. Okay, that's a pretty good position and I would enjoy it if I actually had bullets. Reloaded. I reposition. Oh, he's going back. But he's still gonna shoot. This thing is nearly empty. Oh, will this explode? Let's not take that chance. Yeah, let's just heal yourself. There's a chance he dies right away, which is nice. But it didn't happen, but we still want to disable him. Come on, guys, run in. Subdued the hostile. Easy mission. Come on, game. They're undeployed. I've never even seen that guy in action. I have to watch a YouTube video to figure out what, heck, what he even looks like. That's nice. I oh. know you do not trust aliens. Oh? But you are Critical trying mission to mission must do be so. completed today. And? It is enough for me. <laughs> Good. I wasn't really planning on dicking around. Increase aim by 10%. Then the shots do not automatically end the turn. Like, yeah, I mean, this would be nice to pick up. Critical mission must be completed today. Great. I, I wasn't really planning on just stalling and never doing it. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, same team, right? Also, we're gonna have all zones under control this week. We're gonna have enough intel to do that. And maybe... Gray Phoenix but made they, its move no, on the that, starboard. That's next week. They overran security. We're gonna have are something to scramble rank free. Ships. You need to stop those birds from launching. Who knows what they'll do when airborne? Fine. Let's do breach mode. Enemies deal one less damage during breach. Okay. Last unit through this entrance uh, ultimately activates Overwatch after the breach. Agent. During the bridge. I kind of like this more. So, let's go Verge, Godmother, Terminal, into Zephyr. Because we have guaranteed free damage, and we're gonna go with the guaranteed damage person. Although, you can make the argument, and that would be pretty l legit. And, yeah, that's really worth considering.
that we also need to kill people while we are breaching, and uh, Zephyr is not really doing that. Time to move. Oh, look at that. Well, we can punish the python. Pretty bad chance to hit. Ship. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Those consoles. One round remaining? The launch. What the fuck? Yeah, maybe we don't use the frag grenade here. Keep in mind, this is gonna be a long mission. I fucking hate this snake. Okay, let's punch the snake. And considering that probably no one wants to go there, we're just gonna go there with Zephyr. And get this thing. We're here for that target. No. Next round. We're gonna go <laughs> the next one and punch the dominator in the face. No 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 no. I don't mind melee ones. Legionnaire? What now? Yeah, we could use a uh, defense. So this legionary is very wounded in the back. We got a faceless. Um, I can disable a paladin. Oh, actually, let's berserk the paladin. Show them how you feel. Not a bad shot. Our best shot is actually kind of acceptable now. I can cover it. A lot of Stay wounded people. Back. What the fuck? They're taking so much damage. So out of character. Faceless is dangerous. The face is gonna act, so it's a bit of an awkward situation. Do I just ignore the faceless and try to kill someone else? But we definitely want to go Moving. away from the faceless. Oh, okay shot, I guess. Actually, I could have killed the faceless with the special attack.
keep forgetting that in this game, special attacks are not worth much. Well, they're worth a lot, but they just uh, refill basically every turn. The crazy ones every three turns. So, uh, let's kill the Faceless. At least he didn't attack. We were too far away. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea, Paladin. Holy shit. He's actually acting with my guy. What the fuck? Now that he scored six damage. Holy fuck! Do I need to run away? She has a concussion grenade, which would break the link. I'm not sure... Obviously the best would be uh, killing the paladin. I don't want to hurt Zephyr, that's for sure. Unleash your frustration. Not gonna lie, that always creeps me out. You did this! Yeah, if we kill the paladin, we solve our problems. However, at this point... Just disabling the dominator... Give me your mind! Would be huge. Did it work though? Yeah. Oh no, we can't make the move. Actually, can we make the move? We can make the move. Not the worst I've seen. Four HP healed. Did, did it actually work? Okay, let's do crowd control in the back. Yeah, that wasn't the best first room. That was probably the worst first room I had. So it does show that, yeah, I mean, we could use more There's health. only one way into this hangar. Through a corridor defended by the best Grey Phoenix has to offer. Oh, e and the room is full of starship fuel. So don't shoot anything with a warning label. You heard the man. Nothing sloppy in here. Yeah, breach mode. Close to watch, enemies deal one damage during the breach. Fuck. That's not the kind of breach I w wanted to see. We might as well. Okay, we're gonna do a refresh. Everyone's just gonna get a little extra heals. Go, go, go! Two reds again. I guess I just really hate dominators. So we're gonna fearless advance on the dominator. And we most of all wanna kill the reds. Oh, 
to six. I mean, there's a chance we kill the python. That ship. I don't know about that. Yeah, my special ability is on cooldown. So the adder will act soon. The dominator will also act soon. Maybe we're just gonna take out the dominator. Do I want to move her up right now? Do I have a good move with her? Don't really. I mean, we can kill an adder. If there's gonna be a tough fight, it's gonna be the last one. So maybe we should team up there. Although, we're already... Well, you're in a terrible spot. We need to team up right now. Okay. Uh, let's just kill a dominator. Demolishing. Let's stay in their face. With a parry. Yeah, I, I don't mind Throwing grenade. making my own guys cease fire as well. Also dominate in the back, plus Berserker. Not like Terminal is gonna do much. Scatter shot is just a four to six. We have the best cover right there. Okay, let's go for that. Let's do safeguard. Yeah, he, he has, definitely has the lowest HP. Let the high tech spray do its work. Well, the one thing that I did Thank learn you. is we should probably bring more heals. It almost never matters. But I guess it's it's critical when it does. Hmm. Zafir is the only one that can just one shot people here. Very reliably. The Paladin is not that big of a deal. Yeah. Okay. So... We can make the Paladin kill the Python, I think.
Or make the Dominator. I think the Dominator is just gonna shoot the Berserker now. A little bit fucked up. Never mind, we kill the Paladin, I suppose. We can also move in as well. To guarantee a kill. Else it's just RNG. I suppose it's worth it. Subdue the hostile. If we get down, then I guess we get the robot. Oh, actually, he regenerates HP. Look at that. It's coming in handy. Good job, Faceless. Now we have to kill him, too. What? Stop with that bullshit. Okay, let's let's punch. Let's kick everybody in the face. This is just bullshit. Bound. Friendly fire is the only problem here. Uh, also the Dominator. Can I just go back? I don't think that's gonna work. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't work. So Dominator is a concern, the Berserker is a concern too. I can just kill the Berserker, right? The Scattershot does seem awesome, but... I mean, if you have a melee character, not so much. So it's not a great synergy. Hmm. You go back a little bit. On the move. Never stop moving. And we just kill the berserker. Why can do that? Just kill the berserker. Also. Okay. That's a good target. With the heals. I like that. And at last... We can make him fall asleep. He's stunned and he's dead. He does regenerate HP. From unconscious as well. Wait. I kinda did it, right? Clear more enemies. Get a move on. Low ammo. Do we need to run in? Like peasants? Come on! Take me to the next zone. Oh, is the game giving me like a free pass to heal Ruined up my crew? I think that scratch. that's the case. Headed worm needed. Well, he actually he does ha still have two connections, so he's gonna keep healing too. A turn, but it still matters. My choices are okay. On the run. Fuck me. 
Oh, hell, they have one of those things? Not a problem. Shattering. <laughs> Fuck me. I'm running low. Just, you guys just stay in the back. I got this. Anyone needs heals? He'll be fine. I needed that. Go to sec the pot. Oh, sec the pot is immune. Oh fuck, he took damage from the explosion. The starship is nearly fueled. Stop Great Phoenix before they can launch. Not a problem. There are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. Entering through here marks your units until the end of the encounter. I mean, this. Why would I go there? And why would I go there? So we go here. Like that. It's go time. I guess I go in the Python. If they get to that console, they'll launch the ship. Wow. Cutting it real close. Okay, obviously Zephyr needs heals. That is without question. And maybe we're gonna spend the rest of the turn just repositioning something less dumb. I like over there. How hard is it to stop them? Wow. Oh, he's he's going for it? Fuck me. I guess it's gonna be hard. Can go for a kick on everybody. But we need to deal with this guy. Who's about to launch the ship. Holy fuck. They're not playing around. The enemy's about to launch the ship. Like, they're literally right there. Holy fuck, stop! Wait, what? Oh, there's gotta be two enemies who launch it? Oh my god. I can kill the Dominator. But if I target the Adder, 
Make him kill the Dominator. Then we kill the Adder. I, I don't even care about my health right now. Just... I just want to prevent their win condition. I would have liked to disable the Praetorian. But it was not possible. No! Fuck off! Proof Chi Yarvo, Chief Yarvo. Um, interesting. Can I get a little closer? Okay, that's a pretty good spot. Shifty. Heavy cover. We're close with a shotgun. I wouldn't mind killing the adder. Let's do that. That's a good shot. Oh, he wants to activate it as well? Fuck me. Okay. We got the healer. Who heals herself. But more importantly, go for some hits against Crew Chief Yarvo. I suppose. Will Crew Chief Yarvo ever try to activate? Oh no, that, that's not the target I want. I suppose Kruchi Fjarvo is annoying, but we need to stop this other Praetorian. Zephyr can hold that one guy, not a problem. Enemies all around you. Fight amongst yourselves. Oh, I made him berserk. Hopefully he hits the other guy. At least I learned that, that when you make someone berserk, they always hit the enemies. My enemies. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. He's just going for it. Should I just kill the Pretoria in the back? Let's take him out. Don't launch the spaceship. We come all this way just to prevent you from doing all that. That's, just, that's, their, that's their entire back, big plan. That they're just gonna launch the spaceship and, I don't know, just fuck off into space? They, they haven't thought about this at all. What kind of ex experience is gonna be? Hey, you got this. Okay. Let's punch Crew Chief Yargo in the ass. Oh no. Poor guys. Imagine that, you're the last guy with the big dream of launching the ship and you're going for it on your own, but you actually need two people to do it. You must suck. And you're not even killed, you're gonna be taken hostage, just to be interrogated. Hostile is under arrest. So that's it then. Crew Chief Yarvo is gone. We're stuck here. Very well. I shall direct all of our forces to stand down. Really? I accept your surrender. 
It does not matter where you send us. This world remains our prison. Wow. Look at that. Operation Emerald Tiger. Grey Phoenix. These guys are done. So, that was just one of my missions, you know? Just take out an entire crime syndicate on my own. And they just wanted to fucking go. I actually feel a little bit bad. I mean, their methods? Very questionable. But, not like the end goal was to fuck people over. Their end goal was just to fuck off. And I can respect that. Good work, Chimera Squad. Your quick thinking prevented significant damage to City 31. And yet, Grey Phoenix was not trying to flee to the Elders. They wanted to go home. Or find a new place to call home. How they went about it cannot be excused. But I will advise XCOM HQ to consider this development. How so? In a way, they're... The issue they had, they that, that they presented, would have been solved eventually. Because no matter how many crimes they commit, they just gonna leave once they have enough. And that's great. I mean, I can't even can't even really fault them. But of course, just just for wanting to go. After reviewing the intel from your investigation, we're left with more questions than answers. Grey Phoenix sought to steal multiple starships from the city's starport. This required secrecy. Mayor Nightingale's death made their goal more difficult to achieve. Worse, there are clear signs they had external backing. Until we know more, we've designated their silent partner, Atlas. Should we run down leads on Atlas? No. There's too little to go on. Mayor Nightingale's death remains your priority. You mentioned two other groups who could have aided her killers, but... Focus on one. If Atlas becomes more than just a theory, we'll update. Investigation complete? Really? That was just one investigation? Holy fuck! Okay, what we want to do? The progeny or sa the sacred coil? A loose network of human psions, their vision for City 31's future is entirely psionic, whether the city wants it or not. What I think, that maybe, at the start of a next fucking investigation, I get some guys, please, please game, give me some new guys. Just for the sake of why the fuck not, okay? Do it. The progeny have a small but loyal human membership, all with psionic capability. Victims willingly hand over what the progeny need, and then forget the whole thing. The perfect crime. It's not a crime. <laughs> okay, what we got here? Spec up complete. We got some intel. Okay, what we got here? Uh, city 31 unrest is becoming more serious from now on. Any ignored mission will add free unrest to its district. Holy fuck! Any ignored situation will add one unrest to its uh, district. What the fuck? Investigate the progeny, but more importantly, it's Tuesday, so we have to. Consider making some upgrades. Now, do we want to invest into everything? I think yes. I think yeah. I do prefer Illyrium to an extent. We can upgrade, but that's not what we want. We want to have one in every sector Intel income, Illyrium income. 
Well, Intel is not exactly as valuable as Illyrium, but neither is that. 15 credits, 10 Intel, 10 Illyrium every Friday. This is more valuable. Then we can just spam income and credits. More so than we already do now. And we may not have to go with Illyrium every single fucking time. But yeah, usually we do have to. Let, let's just go and pick up Illyrium here. So, this opened up the last ability. Lower City Anarchy by 1. Plus 1 if rank 2 field teams are present in every district. Plus 2 if rank 3. What? Plus 1 if... Uh, yeah. So our goal is just to have rank 1. Then rank 2. Then rank 3. In every spot. But maybe before all that, get 1 up to rank 3. And then get everything up to rank uh, 2. Oh, actually I didn't use it. Should I use it? 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I mean, it seems like, yeah. I use it now. Investigate the progeny. What? 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 Oh, new agent! Oh my god! I was waiting for this moment for so long. Please. Early in the game, I chose my agents. Like you know, I don't care. Just give me someone. And I was, I was not really punished, but. I don't know, I feel like I, I'm missing out. So, we have someone who... A, agent sends the gremlin to enemy to jolt them. Attacks chain to nearby enemies. Damage is increased against robotic enemies. Okay, so this is like a... Anti-robot chick. We already, we already got this choice, didn't we? Oh, man. The gremlin scans the room, applying holo targeting to all enemies, increases the squad's aim by 15 against marked enemies, one use per mission. Okay. Agent... yeah, this is the Rage Barbarian. I don't know! <laughs> I don't know which one to choose out of these. Do I want the Rage Barbarian or the the robot robot chick? Uh, maybe it should be the robot chick. This is a melee attacker. I already got a melee attacker. Okay, well, let's go with Patchwork. I'm not even considering Shelter because he seems to be... Very situational, at least what I'm seeing right now. Agent silently swaps positions with the targeted enemy or ally, but he swaps position. I don't know. Hack open the door at the start of the breach. Like we kind of already doing that, don't we? Chaining jolt. Eh, whatever. Let's go with, uh, Patchwork. Patchwork? When did you get in? Not so long ago. What's wrong? I spec'd out a whole workshop for our field office. Which is currently sitting in a warehouse while they finish the building. I'm sorry. I'll be fine. I just need to find a place to tinker. Pick any open floor space. There's so much of it. Ha <laughs> Okay, I guess we're gonna get more guys. 
Now look at that. How, how, how blue is that? How nice it is to look at. And I suppose... Our team size will always be... Wait a second. So this means... Oh, first of all, we want to have someone uh, earning some cash or intel. Cash is fine. Wait, which one we want? Crisis management or one free field team? Money is still valuable. Um, let's look at the cost of upgrades. It's 80 to upgrade. 122 upgrades. So it's close. Uh, between doing legwork. I mean, this seems to be worth it because by getting intel. We will be able to get more stuff on missions and also increase the income. So that may be priority at this point. We, we have enough cash and we're not really intending on using it. So I think I'm just going to go for legwork with doesn't matter who, right? Cherub, whatever. You can do it. And this new girl... Uh, at least gonna go for the HP upgrade. And we are doing that. And we're just gonna go with the team. <laughs> for now. And the next up, we have to investigate the progeny. Why not? <laughs> Another crime syndicate. We gotta deal with them. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.